You've seen it. Now he can hear you. You've touched it. Now he can see you. I'll kill you right here! Right now! Never ring it. If you hear it, he can touch you. Get away! Get away! Franklin Bailey had a habit of searching the area near his house using a metal detector, hoping to find precious items buried in the dirt. Occasionally, he'd find something worthwhile, but usually it was just rusty nails and other worthless things. Damn it. Maybe I need to start searching near the coast again. Thus, you can imagine Franklin's surprise when he stumbled across a strange cowbell. A rusty cowbell? How did this get out here? <laughs> Damn, this thing sounds awful. I did. Huh? What? Physically, the object is an unremarkable rusty cowbell. However, any noise produced by it immediately induces strong anxiety in all sentient beings who hear it. Upon hearing the bell, victims exhibit elevated heart rates and blood pressure, accompanied by the feeling of being watched by some unseen entity. Furthermore, when Franklin rings the bell, it's as if every living creature in the area has gone silent. It's as if they've fled. It just got really quiet. Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 come on. <laughs> With his flashlight on the fritz and his anxiety growing by the minute, Franklin decides to head home. Must be a bad bulb. I gotta get home. I don't want to be stuck in the dark. However, even in the safety of his bedroom, he finds himself restless and unable to sleep. So I, I can't sleep, clearly. Uh, I need a cup of water or coffee. someone in my house. There's someone in my, there's someone in my house. There's someone. Roughly one hour after exposure, victims begin to catch glimpses of the entity when opening doors, walking past mirrors, turning their heads, or performing any other actions that result in a sudden change in visual perception. Questioning of bystanders indicates that the entity is invisible to those who have not heard the bell. Unfortunately, by watching this tape, you've now heard the sound of the bell, meaning that this monster is going to kill you unless you love puppies and kittens and subscribe to Theft King. Subscribe to Theft King, unless you hate puppies and kittens and want the monster to kill you. Panicking, Franklin goes to dial 911, only to find that the calls aren't going through. You've got to be shitting me! This isn't real. This isn't real. I'm just seeing shit. <laughs> I'm just seeing shit. I'm freaking out over nothing. See? Nothing. I just need sleep. I'm just sleep deprived. Just leave me alone. Please. Leave me alone. <laughs> ah, ah! 
Descriptions of the entity's appearance are largely unreliable. Test subjects have been unable to provide complete accounts of sightings due to their exhaustion, degraded mental health, and disruptive hypervigilance. However, all interrogation thus far seems to suggest that it is a tall, emaciated humanoid with abnormally large hands. Whatever it was, it was right outside Franklin's bedroom door, scratching at it. <laughs> After an hour and a half of torment, at 2.30 a.m., Franklin returns to his bedroom to retrieve a pistol. At 5.42 a.m., local containment units arrived on the scene. Franklin was found dead in his bedroom. The cowbell is now contained in sight. It is to be suspended in a one cubic meter block of gelatin and contained within a soundproof, climate-controlled cell. The gelatin must be inspected daily for any degradation or loss of integrity. An inspection will be carried out immediately following any earthquake, explosion, or sonic event grade 2 or higher. Personnel performing the inspection are to wear earplugs and active noise-canceling earmuffs at all times while inside the cell. 
any sentient being exposed to the bell are to be monitored by at least two security personnel at all times. Under absolutely no circumstances may the exposed be administered sedatives or allowed to fall unconscious. Any victim who does fall unconscious is to be terminated immediately. If possible, the entity is to be apprehended on site. Hold up, I literally rendered like hundreds of frames for this animation the day before it came out and I didn't get a special thanks? What the fuck, Reach?